Back in 2012, BlackBerry had more than 80 million active users and controlled 50% of the U.S. market. Remember that? This week, though, the end of an era as those once popular BlackBerry devices, they stopped working. Yeah, it's, that's shocking, really, because I remember when they were the dominant device of choice. But now the company that makes them has been talking about stopping this service for a while, about a year now, but it's coming. Our Mike Polk Jr. is one of the last BlackBerry users we know of. Of course. And he has this BlackBerry tribute. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Today, we mourn the passing of a dear old friend, the BlackBerry mobile device. And at the same time, the end of an era. Well, to be fair, the era ended about eight to 10 years ago, but for some of us, it's still pretty fresh. The Ontario-based company BlackBerry, which is indeed still a company, announced that as of this week, they will stop running support for all of their classic devices thereby officially rendering Blackberries little more than Canadian calculators that also play Tetris. A tragic end for what was once considered cutting edge technology. With its sturdy frame and satisfying clicky physical keyboard, the phone was so popular back in its heyday that it earned the nickname Crackberry due to its addictive nature. In retrospect, that nickname was probably problematic and inappropriate, but it was the early 2000s and none of us knew any better back then, so cut us in the past some slack. The signature QWERTY keyboard appealed to business professionals, which made them the perfect accessory for the insufferable 2004 businessman on the go. More than that, Blackberries became a status symbol. Mega celebs like Kim Kardashian and even Barack Obama were both notoriously inseparable from their BBs. And I was the first president to have a Blackberry. And so, years pass, and no one else has BlackBerry. <laughs> so what happened? How did this once dominant device go the way of the 8-track player and the laser disc? The answer arrived in 2007, and it was wearing a black mock turtleneck. Well, what we're going to do is get rid of all these buttons and just make a giant screen. Apple's introduction of the iPhone began the touchscreen revolution, leaving the once proud BlackBerry behind in the technological dust. But some of us soldiered on, resisted the siren song of the trendy iPhone, and held on to our Blackberries like grim death. Why? Because we are stubborn and we detest change. But we also genuinely prefer the tactile keyboard of the Blackberry. Its simplicity and the fact that unlike the vexingly delicate iPhone, you could drop one of these into a toilet, then off the terminal tower observation deck, and it would still work just fine somehow. But not anymore. For today, this Blackberry is silenced. I mean, except for whatever music I already had downloaded on it. I think I have a Fallout Boy album on there, if I'm not mistaken. But regardless, it can no longer function as a phone, even if I wanted it to. So rest easy, dear friend. Your work here is done. This marks the end of our ceremony. For those of you who wish to join us for the burial, we will be caravanning to Edgewater Beach Park, where the deceased will be placed on a raft, set aflame, and pushed out to sea towards its motherland of Canada for its final repose. Thank you all for coming. I hope he tapes that for us. God. Mike, please capture that on video. Absolutely. Now, I have, as you know, I have a BlackBerry currently still. Yeah. I've been evolving with them as they've been evolving. Um, I got this one, and then I kept trying to get the new ones, including this one, which everyone Whoa. likes to make fun of. That Jeez. doesn't fit in anyone's pocket, and it's the size of a trapper keeper. <laughs> uh, but now I still have a BlackBerry, and believe it or not, this one still works because it doesn't run on the BlackBerry platform. They started making them with an Android platform about four or five years ago, then they gave up on that, but there was this sweet little window that I got into, so I still have a functioning BlackBerry because it runs on the Android platform. So you're kind of grandfathered in. I am, I'm literally grandfathered in uh, because you have, most people are grandfathers who have grand, uh, Blackberries and I'm grandfathered into the Blackberry technology. Uh, it doesn't flip, I think that's where a lot of the grandfathers are. Yeah, that's are. definitely the grandfather yeah. phone of choice. You know, Betsy, this is a true story. I've been with Mike on a number of occasions when he's pulled that out and- Everybody looks. I'm, I'm just frozen in my tracks. I'm what like, is that? Mike, is that a, is that a Blackberry? Yeah. He's like, yeah. There's nothing I'm quite the like the outright horror and shock on the look of a millennial's face. <laughs> when I pull this thing out and start using it as a phone, people are just, what is he doing? You know, it's amazing. So, and it really is, that's one of the reasons that I still have this. It's just to annoy people. Okay, my last thought on this as we go is, will there be a time in the near future where we're having the same story about iPhones? Hmm. Technology never stops, kids. That's true. Something's that's, coming. We just don't know what it is yet. Yeah, we're at like iPhone, what are we at? iPhone 715 right now? It seems <laughs> like it I just keeps going or up. So. But still, yeah, you're right. Nothing's permanent, including 
This sweet, sweet blackberry. Well, right. Mike, our condolences. I appreciate that, guys. It means a lot coming from you. All right. You betcha. Thanks, Mike. Take care.